In this video, I'm going to explain how to upload question polls to the Blackboard course and also uh, how to make the exam. So the very first step will be to select your course. So I'm going to select my uh, AMP course in this example. So you click on the course. <coughs> so that will be the first step. The second step will be to go to the course tools right over here. So click on the course tools to open everything in the course tools, all the way scroll down and click on test, surveys and polls. Once you click on the test, surveys and polls, now you select your polls. So click on polls. <clears throat> now I have in my polls some questions and uh, some exams and quizzes. Now uh, at this stage, I want to click on import polls. So I'm going to click on import polls. If you want to build your own poll, you could build it your own poll. Now, <clears throat> so in order to import poll, you're going to browse your computer and locate the file uh, uh, that's acceptable by Blackboard. So before we go to that one, let me quickly show you that uh, in order to make the exam compatible with the Blackboard or acceptable, a file that's acceptable by the Blackboard, you have to use respond those or one of those applications so those applications come from the publishers uh, any book that you use they have uh, different types of uh, applications like this is a test generator exam viewers exam test and so forth uh, any of those applications uh, you could make your exam and uh, uh, save the exam uh, in a format that's accepted by the blackboard and you could upload it in the blackboard so get back to um, uploading so now i already made my exam and the exam is saved uh, in a format that's uh, uh, accepted by the blackboard so uh, if you don't have um, one of those applications you have just word document in one of my videos i will explain how to convert a word document uh, to a file format that's acceptable by blackboard or accepted by blackboard uh, uh, or you could just google search and there are number of different sites that you could just copy your word document paste it there and uh, it will convert it so let's continue with this video uh, browse my computer and i'm going to locate the file where i saved it so i'm going to have the lecture exams and that's exam number four so that's the file so uh, that's how the file is going to look like so whenever it is compatible or accepted by blackboard the file is a zip file over here so I'm going to select this one and I'm going to click on submit. Now the file is submitted and at this point I, you click on OK. So basically uh, uh, I should see it right over here. That's exam number four uh, and I could just open this exam or edit the exam. Uh, right now I have 50 questions and each question has one point um, i want to change that one i want uh, my students to see what's their score out of 100 so i'm going to just select all the questions and i'm going to give them two points per question and i'm going to click on update and i'm going to go to the second page i'm going to select all the questions and i'm going to make it two points and I'm going to update it. So now I have 50 questions, each 2.100. Uh, so you see all those. Now, what I could have done, I could have just say, show me all the questions. So I see all the 50 questions. Instead of going to the second page, you just put a number here and it will update it for all 50 questions uh, that you select. So uh, this is my questions and if I want to make some changes you could just click on them and edit uh, pull is there so I uploaded pull now how do I make my quiz or exam now to make the quiz and exam you have to have like a content folder for it uh, to add a content folder you could just click on this plus sign right over here at the corner and uh, uh, click on content area so uh, if you click on the content area a folder like this is going to be created and you could just name that folder 
whatever you want. So for instance, like if I want to change this folder, uh, I will right click on it. So right over here, I'll click on the folder and I say rename the folder and I will click on accept. So I already have the folder here. I'm not going to change anything. So I'm going to click on my exam and quiz folders and I'm going to go to where I want the exam to be. So right over here, uh, the content area is open. So now I want test or you want add survey assignments or anything, whatever you want to call it. So I want to call it add test and I will click on create and I'll call it exam four. So my exam four is here. If I want to add any instruction or description of the quiz, for instance, like the exam, uh, the questions will appear one at a time. Uh, see if the question after you answer it or backtracking is allowed or not allowed. Any instruction like you have 50 minutes or you have 40 minutes for the quiz, uh, the password for the quiz, if you have anything. So you add some description or instructions here. So right now I created my exam and my exam has zero questions and there's zero points. So what I want to do is I want to find questions and I'll click on, uh, first I'll click on uh, uh, reuse option and I'll click on find questions. And here is my pool of questions and I will click on exam four. All the questions appear and I'll select them all. I'll go to the second page, select them all and I'll submit questions, 100 points, all the questions said, okay, I'll click on submit. Now at this stage, the quiz is submitted. Here is some options for the quiz. Do I want the uh, exam to open in a new window? Yes or no? I prefer not. Uh, make the, the quiz available for students? Yes, make it available. Add new announcement? Yes or no, you could just choose. Uh, do you want to allow multiple attempts? No. Uh, do you want to force completion? Yes. You want to set timers? Yes. Uh, I set timers at 50 minutes because I have 50 questions. Um, Auto submit on or no? So if you click on on, that means like after 50 minutes, the exam is going to be submitted where the student, when the student is, uh, if the student is finished or not. If you click it off, the exam is not going to be submitted. After 50 minutes, the student will be able to continue with the exam. But if you select the off, then you should have certain rules uh, to penalize the student or whatever you have. Uh, the display dates, displayed after, displayed until. Uh, if you want to set some password for it, uh, could just have any password for it. Uh, if you want to add specific uh, user or a group and so forth. So uh, you could just select whatever you want. You do want the questions, all the 50 questions to appear at once, or you want the questions to appear one at a time. Uh, if the questions appear one at a time, do you want to prohibit the backtracking or you want to just leave it? And also I prefer to uh, randomize this question and uh, leave it at random. So now at this stage, I will disable this. I don't want to make the exam or quiz available because I'll make changes before. So 